Morning Blues, I am Super Sub Sophie, currently filling in for Rory as he has you know, taking himself off to sunny Greece. I'm actually from Cyprus, which is sort of nearby. So I hope he's having a lovely time. Uh, but no, this is the Daily Chelsea and I'll be filling you in with all the latest transfer news, gossip, rumors, you name it. I'm gonna go through it with you right now. Uh, if you are missing Rory though, which I doubt you are, cause you absolutely love me, I'm sure. And I'm very important, <laughs> joking. Well, I am. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you can check him out with the True Geordie on the Football Republic channel, which is a new channel on YouTube, uh, to get your Rory fix. We'll see about that one. <laughs> anyway, so first and foremost, I want to go through my snacks, guys, and I'm really excited about this. I've thought long and hard when I went in Sainsbury's today. So very healthy, I hope. You think so anyway. Uh, I got some sweet chili and lime, chicken breast, and some strawberries, although they have got holes in them. So I think I've picked up sort of a bad batch. Maybe there's a bug in there, but you know, I'm, maybe I'll have one in a bit. And also I've then got my lovely cup uh, my Chelsea fans channel mug of water because I only drink water and it's very as you can see beautifully sunny out here So I'm gonna get a bit dehydrated Anyway, so let's move on and let's get to it um, First and foremost and I'm really really upset about this obviously everyone knows how I feel about Oscar But it seems Juventus aren't giving up on him uh, We already know that you know, we've turned down an 18 million pound bid. However, Juventus are now offering more money I don't know what you guys think. Let me know and comment but I think it would be a, a huge loss if we let Oscar go. I know that he had a poor form in the last sort of four or five months of the season. However, I think everybody forgets sort of, you know, the first, first few months of the season, he was amazing. You know, he scores goals, he runs up and down the pitch. He's like so committed, never gives up. You can just see he's, God, he's out of breath every time I see him. But however, I do feel that if he does stay, he really does need to pick up his form next season. It needs to be consistent because I think if he has another season like he has this, then he, I think he'll probably be sold on. But you know, we never know. Uh, as of obviously we want maybe Pogba uh, to come and he could be sort of an exchange there. So maybe he won't last the season, but we will keep you updated. And hopefully, I'm, I'm just hoping that Jose uh, doesn't sell him. But you know, who knows there. Anyway, so onto the sun, uh, Felipe Luiz. Now I don't know if you lot remember, but I did say in my debate that I, did want him to go. He was my player that I would choose to leave Chelsea this summer. And that's not because I think he's a poor footballer, it's just because I don't think he's settled in to the team well. I mean, we've already got our main left back, Aspilicueta. He is absolutely amazing. There's no doubt about it. Took over Ashley Cole when he left. And I just think to get into the team now, it would be it's slightly unnecessary. I don't think we need him, and I think he's too good of a player to sit on the bench. Uh, however, he's 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 not got a got a place in the Chelsea team at the moment. Uh, however, if we did let him go, we would be well. Jose wants 14 million, um, and we'd be making a loss. So up and down there. I don't know what you guys think, but I do think overall, moving forward, he should be he should be going. And then finally, uh, onto the Gazette in Italy. Florentina have met, have given Mohamed Salah until 7 p.m. to decide on his future. Now, I know everybody's a bit divided about this, but I personally think he should leave 100%. He is one of those players that when you come to Chelsea, you know, not everybody settles in straight away. Um, and some people don't settle in at all. Look at Fernando Torres, although he did score some amazing goals for us. He never really, really fully settled in. And I think Mohamed Salah had a terrible, terrible season uh, with us and just because he's proving himself and he's had an amazing season in Italy unfortunately that's not the Premier League and the Premier League is fast-paced it's very electric and I don't think it's the same so I think he'd have a really really hard time settling in so the sooner we sell him I think the better for his career for Chelsea and then that's it but yeah comment below guys let me know what you think um, I'm always welcoming your comments even if you go against what I'm saying <laughs> uh, Anyway, so right, there's your delicious slice of Chelsea Ruba pie for the day. Make sure you get stuck in below in the comments. I will be here for an hour after this goes live. So if you have any questions, get them in and I will see you all super, super soon. Thanks, guys. I was so excited when we signed him. He was such a brilliant player in Syria. He played for Lazio, he played for Sampdoria and he was class. Didn't have such a good time at Manchester United, but 